English, teachers need to develop understandings about language, they need to develop understandings about literature, and they need to develop understandings about literacy. One of the things that's paramount in the teaching of English is to think about language use in particular contexts, the ways in which children over time can develop repertoires of practices so that they become confident, they develop their understandings as they read and listen, that they develop confidence in terms of analysing text so they understand why particular texts are written for particular purposes. So some of the work that we did a long time ago in advertising, even young children we found can critically read um, a particular text and understand what it's for and what the work of a text is. And even young children can think about um, the language use, the particular words that are trying to have an effect and have, have significant um, messages for them to gain. And increasingly now with new technologies, um, thinking about what is English for young children all the way through schooling, indeed all the way through life, um, people can create texts themselves. So as English teachers, what we're doing is we're trying to design curriculum with which children, and often there's a huge range of children in our, in our classrooms in terms of language and culture and capability. And thinking about children learning over time and the ways in which they work with language, the ways in which they work with text, the kinds of opportunities they need, the particular kinds of feedback they need, and the kinds of things, indeed, the kinds of artefacts that they produce is quite important in the area of English. It's one of the things that makes it distinctive because it's in English where we're thinking about children as meaning makers we're actually thinking about the ways in which they develop as meaning makers over time. Through the study of literature and all of what that includes, whether it's Australian literature or more multicultural literature, one of the most important things about English, of course, is it enables young people and their teachers to think about other lives, other worlds, really big issues and questions of identity, who gets to do what, who gets to be what, kinds of really quite complex problems that people face, the ways in which they go about dealing with those problems, the opportunities that different groups of people have and the ways in which different people engage with that. So the whole um, impetus of English, I suppose, is that it gives young people and teachers time to imagine, time to consider, time to develop um, intercultural dispositions, which are very, very powerful. In terms of their citizenship, it's um, an opportunity to rehearse ways of thinking, ways of responding to different things that go on in the world. And of course, all of that in English happens through literature, through very powerful aesthetics. It's not only about functionality, it's about the ways in which language can engage us emotionally, intellectually, and the English is the place where teachers and young people get time to take stock and really think about those powerful questions.